owner of South End Zoo says he may have to euthanize animals amid energy crisis. As energy costs spiral, those in the hospitality sector are concerned about what will happen if they can't afford their bills. Britain's hospitality industry is warning that a fifth of businesses could go bust unless the government steps in to cap energy prices. It's expected that the new Prime Minister Liz Truss will announce help with domestic bills on Thursday, but it's less clear what action will be taken to protect businesses from soaring electricity costs. UK Hospitality asked 150 companies employing 56,000 people about how the costs were impacting their finances. The average increase in bills since June of this year was 258%. To stay up to date with latest top stories, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the button above this video. You can't have private affluence and public squaler, Mr. Miller warns. Energy costs represented 5% of their turnover in 2019. Now it's 18%, overtaking the bill for rent and rates. They say that is unsustainable. Two-thirds of businesses reported that they were cutting back on staff and opening hours to save money. 19% said the added costs had made their business unprofitable and were unsure whether it would survive. A further 2% said they were certain to go bust. Want a quick and expert briefing on the biggest news stories? Listen to our latest podcasts to find out what you need to know. It's a grim time in the fun business. In South End on Sea, the owner of Sea Life says he may have to euthanize animals in his aquarium because the annual cost of electricity has tripled from 240,000 to three quarters of a million pounds. Philip Miller says keeping animals, including monkeys, meerkats, and tropical fish through the winter, would be too costly if the attraction was closed to save money. All these animals have to keep warm, or cold, or a combination of both, and it's on 24 7, seven days a week. And they have to be fed, so it's a massive bill to maintain. They'll all have to euthanize, or we find other homes, but all the other zoos are going to be in the same boat, I'd imagine, Mr. Miller said. Martin Richardson, who owns the Hapidrome Amusement Arcade in Southend, has already closed for the winter. Mr. Miller also operates Theme Park Adventure Island, where the energy bill is forecast to be nearly two and a half million pounds by next year. Two years ago it was 365,000. Martin Richardson owns the Hapidrome Amusement Arcade, but he's already closed its doors for the winter, now that most children have gone back to school. He says it would cost him a 1000 a day to keep operating his power-hungry games machines. He said the new government has got to give us some reassurance and reassure the public that's not all doom and gloom, that light at the end of the tunnel is not going to be switched off.